Welcome to Onbil TV. This is Yanka Kekrezanyo Solo. You're now watching Norris Express. Kaziranga National Park and Tiger Reserve experienced a significant upsurge in the tourist footfall this year, said officials. Renowned for its breathtaking landscape, rich biodiversity, and iconic inhabitants like the one haunt rhinoceros, Kaziranga has emerged as a top choice destination for families and wildlife enthusiasts. This year, it has recorded the highest number of visitors to the park since its inception. In 2023 to 2024, the National Park recorded 3,27,493 tourist footfall, including 3,13,574 Indian tourists and 13,919 foreign tourists. Kaziranga National Park comprises three administrative divisions, the Eastern Assam Wildlife Division, the Bishwanand Wildlife Division and the Naga Wildlife Division. Tourism in all the three divisions has increased, indicating the popularity of the non-conventional tourism sites. The key attraction du during the tourism season that reopened post-monsoon in mid-October 2023 were the jungle safari and elephant safari options. Added opportunities for a cycling trail in Karbi Anglong, tracking routes in the Panbari Forest Range and Chirang added to the attraction. New routes under boat safari for dolphin watching and the Panpur and Burachapori jeep and cycling safari circuits were also made operational this year. According to the data, in 2022 to 2023, a total of 3,10,458 visitors visited the Eastern Assam Wildlife Division, 2,610 visitors visited the Nagao Wildlife Division, and 1,728 visitors, the Bishwanand Wildlife Division. In 2023 to 2024, a total of 3,20,961 visitors visited the Eastern Assam Wildlife Division, 3,484 visitors visited the Nagao Wildlife Division, and 3,048 visitors visited the Bishwanand Wildlife Division. In 2023 to 2024, 8 crore 59 lakh 48,351 in revenue was earned in the Eastern Assam Wildlife Division, rupees 6 lakh 24,000 in the Nagao Wildlife Division, and the and rupees 16 lakh 11,800 in the Bishwanand Wildlife Division. Renowned advocate of Guwahati High Court, Harvis Rashid Chaudhary, is filing his nomination today for the Karimganj Lok Sabha seat with an Indian National Congress ticket. On the last day for filing nomination for the second phase of Lok Sabha polls in Assam, Hafiz Rashid Chaudhary spoke exclusively to our Hornbill TV correspondent in Karimganj about his prospects of winning this time round. Here is a one-to-one -one exclusive interview with Hafiz Rashid Chaudhary from Karimganj. Yes, we have with us Hafiz Yashid Chaudhary, the candidate, Congress candidate from Karimganj. He is a noted uh, advocate and he is contesting this time around from Karimganj seat. Sir, first of all, today you are filing your nominations. What do you think about your seat? But since I have decided to contest the election, certainly I hope with the cooperation, with the blessing of the people of the Karimganj, certainly. Uh, with the blessing I'm filing today and I'm sure that I'll win the seat. It is a triangular contest, this, uh, this seat, uh, with the IRD also giving a uh, candidate. What do you expect? Uh, I, don't think, I don't think the triangular contest is. UDF is not factor at all. I don't count them. Because I don't find them anywhere. Wherever I go, people are not speaking anything. They are speaking against the UDF. So if there is any contest, it will be with the BGP. Yesterday, the Chief Minister of Assam was here and he said that BGP is going to win not by one lakh, by one and a half lakh votes. What do you have to say about he that? He shows that he is frustrated. He knows that his position is very bad. That's why he is, he is not an astrologer. How he can he say? Whether he has visited places, whether he got the mood of the people, he did not get anything simple. He, got any, he has given an announcement that he will win. He is not an astrologer. I don't think, I never say that I win by one lakh, one thousand, one vote. That depends on the people. But so, so far I am concerned, I can say that I will win the seat. 
One last question. You have visited various parts of this region. What do you expect? You know, what are the people saying? What are the things that they would like to vote for Congress and not the BJP or any other party? Basically, uh, you see the four false promises given by the BJP. That is the main things which the Congress will bank upon. And so far, the Bhagavad is concerned, you see, I find people from all communities, irrespective of political parties, even some BJP is also there supporting Congress. Indirectly. Because those who are truly for the interest of the welfare of the Bengali people, but these people are suffering for their rights, they are fighting for the last 40 years for their rights, their citizenship, their debutter, their detention camp. All these things will count in this election. And I hope even some BJP people, they will also vote for the Congress. Thank you very much. That was Afisha Sri confident of winning this seat this time around. From Karimga, this is Anirudh Laskar for Hornbill TV. There was an exclusive from Karim Ganj heading on to the next news. Clashes between BSF and smugglers at Sonamuri Durgapur border under NC Nagar BOP of Sepahi Jala district left one smuggler dead. It has been reported that BSF troopers on patrolling duty caught the smugglers red handed when they were trying to transport goods infringing the international borders. The smugglers initially tried to obstruct the BSF, after which a scuffle ensued, leading to the BSF to open fire. A suspected smuggler named Sahidul Islam was killed by the BSF and another smuggler named Kabil Mia was seriously injured. Both of them were referred to Agartala GB Hospital after first treatment at Sonamura by the doctor on duty. कुछ लोग जब स्मगलिंग कर रहे थे स्मगल आइटम्स कर रहे थे तो उन लोगों ने जब बीएसएफ वालों ने रुकने के लिए कोशिश किया तो उनके तरफ से उनको घेर लिया है घेर लिया फिर उसके साथ कुछ आर्गुमेंट हुआ है और थोड़ा स्कफलिंग भी हुआ है उस स्कफलिंग में बीएसएफ जवान को एक दो चोट पहुंचा तो फिर उसको सेल्फ डिफेंस में उसने फायर कर दिया ऐसा एक है दूसरा तरफ से एलिगेशन ये दे रहे हैं कि उन लोगों को जैसे वो स्कफलिंग हो गया तो वो लोग चले गए थे लेकिन आगे दूसरे उन लोगों का जब हाथापाई हो रहा था तो वहीं पे फायरिंग किया भी अनप्रोवोकेटेड फायरिंग किया करके गांव वालों का एलिगेशन मैंने स्पॉट देखा है जहां पे ये अलीज्ड फायरिंग हुआ है और मैं वहां पे गांव वालों से भी और बी वालों से भी मैंने इंटरेक्ट किया है दोनों का वर्षन हम लोग सुना है मैंने यहाँ यहाँ पर अभी मेरे साथ एडिशनल एस पी और ओ भी है हम लोग उनको सबका अश्योरेंस दिया है कि इसमें एकदम इम्पार्शियल जो घटना हुआ है उसको निकालने के लिए इन्वेस्टिगेशन ठीक इन्वेस्टिगेशन होगा हम लोग एफ टीम को भी बुलाया है एफ टीम आके उसमें वहाँ पे अगर कुछ क्लोज मिलेगा तो वो भी करेंगे वी विल एंश्योर दैट कि देर इज इम्पार्शियल इन्वेस्टिगेशन शहीद मिया बोले दो जन लोग आसलो तरा खूब सीरियसलि इंजोर कबिल मियाार पेशन दिखे घर पेशन दिख दिए बाम साइड एक गुलिर एक सैन आने भूतर ढुके से भेतरे शहीद मियाार तो स्काल पूरा पूरी फ्रैक्चर आतरे बोधय गुली होरा सम्भवतः तो बॉर्डर गए वोने कि जानी ना क्योंकि वोने गुल चिन्ह आनल कथा थे बी एस एफ थे वो गुली करवस्था कैमन एक्म बर्तमान वो कंडिशन खूब ही खूब ही खराब हमें भलो करब ना वोरा एखे डिसिप्लिन एक्टर रेफार कर Along with the rest of the state, the people of Guwahati are preparing for the Rongali Bihu, the festival of joy and prosperity. Many of Rongali Bihu committees in Guwahati city are gearing up to glamorize the festival. Meanwhile, Chandmari Rongali Bihu Samiti has taken to initiative to conduct a 10-day Bihu dance and dhol workshop at the Chandmari engineering field in Guwahati. This workshop has been organized to propagate the rich Assamese folk culture among the new generation. The workshop is being conducted under the guidance of Dreamly Gogoi and five assistants. Around 600 children are participating in the workshop. The Bihu San Milan's General Secretary, Simanta Thakuria said, the Pap Guwahati Bihu Samiti of Chandmari has completed 63 years and this will run from 2 to 11th April. So, I am 
हर रोज आती हूँ यहाँ पे व्यू सीखने के लिए क्योंकि मुझे व्यू सीखना बहुत अच्छा लगता है बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है यहाँ पे जो 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 ना है वो गाके भी बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है पहला थोड़ा डर लगता है फिर एडजस्ट हो जाता है ये आसाम का एक उज्जल है एक बहुत सुंदर है और ये बहुत ज़रूरी इसलिए है क्योंकि हमारी जो परंपरागत नृत्य भंगिमा है अभी जो अपकमिंग न्यू जनरेशन है वो लोग अगर सीख पाए तो बिहू का प्रकृति जो रूप होता है वो वो निभा पाएंगे और प्रस्तुति के साथ वो लोग प्रदर्शन भी कर पाते हैं क्योंकि आजकल बिहू सिर्फ मेला नहीं है बिहू मंच पे भी किया जाता है बिहू घर में भी किया जाता है और कमर्शियलाइज बहुत हो गया है क्योंकि ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड यूनिवर्सली बिहू हैज़ बिन एक्सेप्टेड और मैंने काफ़ी बार बिहू को आसाम के बाहर एब्रॉड ऑलरेडी नाइन कंट्रीज़ में मैंने प्रदर्शन किया है तो जब बच्चे लोग ये जो असली रूप है बिहू जो सीखते हैं तो उनके द्वारा हम बिहू को आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं वो अपने आइडेंटिटी को पहचान पाते हैं। का पुगवाटी बिहू सम्मेलन का ये 62 टू ईयर्स ये पदार्पण किया है और हमारा वर्कशॉप दो तारीख से ग्यारह तारीख तक चलेंगे और यहाँ में अभी तक 600 हंड्रेड मोर देन सिक्स पार्टिसिपेंट हो गया है और फॉर्म लेके जा रहे हैं ऐसा लग रहा है कि आ, हजार का आसपास फिगर आ जाएंगे और हम लोग ये इसीलिए कर रहे हैं क्योंकि जो नया जनरेशन है वो नया जनरेशन असम का जो कल्चर है वो कल्चर ताकि उन लोग का सीख सके और सीख के वो विश्व के दरबार में वो अपना जो कल्चर है हमारा असम इस कल्चर है उसको वो रख सके इसी का उद्देश्य लेके हम लोग ये कर रहे हैं The Reboy District Cycling Association, led by General Secretary Mipli Wang Lang, celebrated the outstanding performance of its athletes at the 28th National MTB Championship in Panchkula, Haryana, from March 28 to 31st. After a three-year hiatus, Meghalaya cyclists marked their triumphant return to the championship, garnering praise and accolades. Under the auspices of the Haryana Cycling Association and the Cycling Federation of India. The championship showcased Meghalaya's prowess on the national stage. The felicitation ceremony held at petrol pump Downgate Nongpo honored the remarkable achievements of the cyclists. Kevin Lingdo, who secured two silver medals in the youth category from XCO Time Trial and Mass Start, Aaron O'Neill Karpuri, who clinched a gold medal, Titus C H Marak, who claimed a silver medal in the downhill elite category. Lambormi Pahua secured the fifth rank in the XCO Junior Man category, while Fabian Kilayet secured the seventh rank in the XCO Youth category. Meanwhile, Titus C H Marak and Arun O'Neill Karpuri were selected to represent Meghalaya in the upcoming Asian Continental MTB Championship in Malaysia, scheduled from May 8 to 12. कारी भाई बटमेंट साइकिल साइकिलिंग एसोसिएशन ये प्रियंक सुबह ये कि कि कुन समला की जोंगी कि बा यशिम मेंटा हका ट्वेन हका आर्थो नेशनल एमबीटी चैम्पियनशिप को बोलों हरियाणा किरण कि कुन समला जोंगी कि बा यो गोल मेडल सिल्वर मेडल बात किरण तो कि कुन समला जोंगी कि बा बा शाजियत बनेशिम मेंटा हका इंटरनेशनल लेवल को बंसलों का मलेशिय Tapi saya 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 kerja lah kerja ni. Tapi orang rakyat kanam keburam. Nah, kau ngaji kau yau belai. Padang kan lat bangi, bro. Di sini ti, di sini ti, kerja ni. Alun jauh ngaji belai ya ka MC. Pada ay kalat kerja ti, kini kini play kalat kini kini kena banyak lekah yang teh ka Haryana Twenty MTB Championship. Tapi pun jingi jangan kerja ni lekah ay kena kalat long top sya kerja kena kerja ni kerok kila. Persiang sya, dok daya ya ke medal ya ke yuk. Di hot bon ke state per per apa ageri jongi ke awan cinta. Di sekmen ro ya ke play ke rider jongi ager cinta, bagi layak awan ra ya medal. Rak kanam keberom jangka state jongi, bagi jo ikat session ni. Bang ya kelat bende international, kemarin kong eh ngai ngoi yu play badan kat bengah. Kan ni kal dia jangan aduh boleh sukses dia bukan jual benda kaya bukan jual naik kubre ke session jengi kan bagi lah cycling session kemudian dengan kat bengi kapor kapor bukan jual bawa dengan kat bengi hati ke bukan kompet jengi kerum ayah ke hospital ti jengi dia bukan jual ngasuk kemudian dia sibuk benda air benda air kencing job. 
Chief Advisor of All Kacham Karimganj Hailakandi Students Association, Rupam Nandi Puriya Yashta, joined the BJP in the presence of Assam CM Dr. Himanta Biswa Sama and State BJP President Bhavish Kalita at a rally in Silcha on Wednesday afternoon. Rupam Nandi Puriya Yashta had shouldered the reins of the students' body of Barak Valley for many years now. <laughs> Aminul Islam of AIUDF filed his nomination papers from the Nagao Lok Sabha constituency on Wednesday. Accompanied by AIUDF Chief Badruddin Achmal, Islam submitted his candidacy documents at the Nagao District Commissioner Office. His nomination marks a significant development in the political landscape of the region. Asserting confidence during his campaign, Aminul Islam later spirited a rally from Siloni, Chachali, drawing thousands of supporters. Amidst fervent chants and enthusiastic displays of support, Islam expressed certainty about his victory in the upcoming elections. Aminul Islam will be contesting against Pradyut Bordoloi from the Congress Party and Suresh Bora from the Bhatia Janta Party. আমি কমেও তিন লাখ ভোট বিজেপি পরাভূত করব পড়ে বলে আমি বিশ্বাস কন্টেস্ট তো বিজেপি হব কংগ্রেস কংগ্রেস তো সিকিউরিটি ফরফিট হব কংগ্রেসের অস্তিত্ব নাই কংগ্রেসের সব নেতা বিজেপি গিয়ে আছে আনকি রকি বলেছেন সব ইয়াত যাওতে গোপন মিটিং এটা করে যা কর্মী আসিল কিন্তু কংগ্রেস তো ইয়াত নিজেকে তোমালে সুরেশ বরাক জিকাই দিয়া যাতে উডিএফ জিকি নয় এই আর গোপন মিটিং করেছিল তারপর কেবাজনো কর্মী আই পেলায় আমার যোগাযোগ করেছে কিন্তু আমার নেতাই যে কয়ে গেল আমি করব নো আমি ভোট তো আপনার দিম বিজেপিক জিকাবলে কে গেছে আনকি লাহর ঘাট সমস্যার বিধায়কেও ওপেন কে আছে কে আপনাদের ভোট তো হাতের ছবি দিয়ে নহলে পদ্ম ফুল দিয়ে ইউডিএফক নিদ গতি দুইটা এটা বিজেপিও প্রচার চলাই আছে যে কংগ্রেস নিজেকে আমাকে দিয়া কংগ্রেসও প্রচার চলাই আছে আমাকে নিদিলে বিজেপিক দিয়া তার মানে সম্পূর্ণ কংগ্রেসে আত্মসমর্পণ করেছে বিজেপির ওর যাতে ইউডিএফ জিকিব নয় কিন্তু কংগ্রেসের এই ছাত্রালিট রাইজে গম পাই গেছে কংগ্রেসের কেটামান পালি নেতা যেটা বিজেপিত গুছি গেল আর বিজেপির প্রচার করে আছে এটা কংগ্রেসের ভোটারবিল আম পাবলিক ভোটারবিল কিন্তু এটা আমার লগত আছে কে আমাক বিক্রি করে আমাক বিশ্বাসঘাতকতা করে আমার নেতা পালি নেতাবিল বিজেপিত গুছি গেল গতি আমি ইউডিএফ আছো কংগ্রেস হাজার হাজার মানুষ লো আছে এইটাই বুঝা যায় যে এইবার আমার নগাঁও কেন্ডিডেট জিকিব আর হান্ড্রেড পার্সেন্ট জিকিব বরদুত বরদলের কোনো পাত্তাই নাই কংগ্রেসেরও কোনো পাত্তা নাই গোটেই কংগ্রেস কত আছে নাই কংগ্রেস আর দিল্লি তো নাই এটা এই কারণে ইউডিএফ এক নম্বর থাকিব ইউডিএফ Meanwhile, another contender has thrown her that into the ring in Nagao. Shikha Sharma, hailing from Nagao district, has filed her nomination independently for the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. And Sharma, in a separate event at the district commissioner office, submitted her nomination papers, signaling her intent to contest the election as an independent candidate. Heading on to the next news. Tripura Pradesh Congress MLA Sudhi Broy Barman on Wednesday called Royal Sky in Pradyot Kishore, De Barman and Mahajan stating that it was the best reference that suited the Tripura Mota founder. Justifying his sweeping remarks against the Supreme of the state's second biggest political party in Tripura in terms of strand in the assembly. Sudhi Broy Barman said, in the villages, the owners of the big shops are called the Mahajan and Tripura chief has completely sold out the Tripura sub people. He said everybody is aware of the understanding that helped him manage a ticket for his sister from the East Tripura parliamentary constituency. This is an open secret now and the Congress leader was speaking to the media persons during the meeting of the INDIA bloc members at Agartala Press Club. Representative of at the eight parties that are constituents of the INDIA bloc combination in Tripura attended the meeting including leader of the opposition and the CPIM state secretary Jitender Chaudhary. Hitting out at the barman, the leader of the opposition claimed that he didn't only dilute the interests of the tribal people, but also 
sold the symbol of the pineapple. The Barman sister is contesting the elections on a BJP ticket when asked about the TMP Supremo's claims that Jitendra Choudhury could manage to secure could manage to secure his victory with a water wafer thin margin from the subroom assembly constituency because of him. Choudhury reported that his statement made it crystal clear that he was instrumental in bringing BJP back to power. <laughs> External Affairs Minister Dr. S. J. Shankar on April 2 addressed media in Gujarat's Ahmedabad. During the event, he reacted sharply to Congress P. Chaidambaram, mouthpiece of RSS BJP, Bab over Kacha Thevu Ro, and said he is proud to be in BJP. Today, Jay Shankar is in BJP or not, with Jay Shankar is in BJP and is proud to be in BJP. Uh, I would just like to bring up the tweet by the former finance minister, uh, P. Chidambaram, who has referred to the RTI, uh, which was done on 27th uh, of uh, January 2015. And he has tweeted this also, and he has said that uh, now the foreign ministry is doing a somersault now. And especially, allegedly, he has said the role of, finance, uh, the role of foreign minister, uh, he's playing in the hands of RSS and BJP. How would you react to that, sir? If, the, uh, if Mr. Chidambaram was unaware that I was member of BJP, that's his problem. I am a member of BJP. I'm a proud member of BJP. If you are asking me, Again, I refer to what our, you know, our colleague asked earlier. I yesterday made three points. Point number one, Pandit Nehru and Indira Gandhi ji gave no importance to Kachatibu. Point number two, legal opinion said, please negotiating fishing rights, they disregarded it. Point number three, DMK was complicit in everything which it does and Today, while it talks about fishermen's rights, it was actually party to giving away these rights in 1976. Now, whether it is Mr. Chidambaram or whether it is anything which anybody else wants to ask me, if you wish to dispute these three facts, please do so. But there is public document out there. So by saying that today Jay Shankar is in BJP or not, which Jay Shankar is in BJP and is proud to be in BJP, that does not change anything. Facts are facts. Truth is truth. Fishermen of Tamil Nadu should know who has put them in that position. So any personal criticism of... See, a person who brings out the truth 
is not popular with the people who are hiding the truth. That's all for the Northeast Express. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV.